Do you want to learn to make some fidget toys with a hot glue gun? Let's do it. Don't wait for tomorrow. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's Dr. Squish. Today, uh, I want to play with hot glue. Sounds like a great idea. So I'm really having a lot of fun making fidget toys. I've done a bunch of them so far. Wow. Oh, it feels good. But I thought about, what about fidget toys that can be made with a hot glue gun? Parents! Uh, hot glue is very dangerous, so please make sure there is some adult supervision going on anytime a hot glue gun is getting used. I am an adult. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, I have burned myself multiple times. So yes, they're quite, quite dangerous. The first fidget toy I'm going to be making is a cracking cookie. What? I know, uh, I did make a cracking chocolate and a cracking brownie, but they had these in Japan years ago. These are super old. You can see it was meant to go like on a keychain. And this is where I got this idea from. And there's a pink one and a brown one and they just look like little cookies and they snap. They're such fun fidget toys. I like these a lot. I'm gonna make one with hot glue. Are you ready? Let's go! For this hot glue craft, you'll need a hot glue gun, some pink hot glue sticks, a makeup sponge, I got this at the dollar store, a bunch of them in a pack, and some snapping barrettes, also from the dollar store. This is a silicone cookie mat. If you don't have one of these, just use some parchment paper and you can draw out a round cookie shape, just something non-stick. I'm gonna go around my cookie shape here with the hot glue. Uh, very patient, it takes a really long time, but we're gonna draw out the cookie and then we're gonna fill in the whole entire thing. Uh, after we have done one cookie, we're gonna make two. <gasps> Magic, I got two cookies. We gotta let them cool completely. Once they are totally cool to the touch, you can peel it off your parchment paper or your silicone and look, cookie shapes. Okay, I'm gonna put the barrette on top of the sponge. All you need is two little dots of glue, one on each end. You do not wanna glue the whole entire barrette down. It won't snap if you do that. So just a little dot of glue on each end to hold it in place, perfect. Now we are gonna put a dot of glue in each corner. Again, you don't wanna glue the whole thing down or it won't snap. So just a little glue in the corners and glue it to the one of your cookies, just uh, the top of one of your cookies. And look, snappy, perfect. Okay, here comes where the real patience comes in. We're gonna put hot glue all the way around uh, the circumference of our cookie. And uh, we, what we wanna do here is build up the hot glue to the same height as the sponge. You can see after one layer, we're not even there. Uh, after like six, seven layers, we're finally there. It took a bunch, a lot of layers. You need to let that cool as well. So now we are gonna put the top cookie on top, just like this, and being as patient as you've ever been in your life, you are going to slowly go around and glue the top cookie to the bottom cookie. You wanna go slowly so that you're not like stretching and squeezing the hot glue. Just, just patiently go around, glue top to bottom. Now you're gonna use a brown hot glue stick to make little kisses. We've got one little dollop of hot glue, two dollops, three. Magic, all the, all the dollops, all the chips, perfect. Once those are cool, you can peel them off and just use the tiniest little dot of hot glue to stick them on your cookie. Just like that, perfect, magical. Ah, oh, it looks so cute. That's a pretty good snap. It works well. So what did you think of my cracking cookie? I think it's pretty darn cute. Uh, I like this. You can definitely tell it's supposed to be a cookie and it looks like some kind of little iced cookie. I think it's cute. It kind of also looks like a stack of pancakes. Don't judge me. I, I think it's cute. I think that it looks just as good as this one. I mean, this one doesn't necessarily look like a straight up cookie. It, it's just, it kind of looks like a toy and this one does too. I mean, this one's got a pretty good snap to it. The only thing I have to 
to say about this one is since it's made out of hot glue, it's a little harder to snap. Now, I mean, it's not difficult, but this one is made out of foam. So it's kind of, and this one's a little sturdier. So actually, I feel like this one's gonna last longer than this one anyway. So, next craft, what's up? We are going to be making a squishy edamame toy. Uh, what is that? Actually, I don't have one. I've had many in the past. They're like these little squeezy beans. Here, I'll try to find one. I'll put it here. <laughs> They're this cute little toy where when you squish it, the bean comes out and then it goes back and it comes out and it goes back. A little capsule with oil in it, so it kinda like the bean like kinda slips out and it comes back. I am going to attempt to make one with hot glue. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna test it out. Are you ready? Let's do it, let's go. For our next craft, you're gonna use some small chocolate molds, a green glue stick, or two or three, uh, and some glass marbles from the dollar store, plus some little tiny balloons as well. We are gonna use our green glue stick to go all the way around our chocolate molds. I've used these chocolate molds in a bunch of crafts. We are just going to be uh, filling them kind of, not filling them up, but putting glue all the way around the edges and all on the inside, kind of like a chocolate shell would be. So we wanna use the hot tip to really kind of smooth it out in there and to just go all the way around the inside. Again, it's not full, but we're just gonna, gonna use the hot glue to go all the way around the edges uh, of the mold. And we are gonna make six of these. And after they have cooled completely, you can just pop them out of the mold. So you got these little half shells of hot glue, just like that. Now what we're gonna do is put them together, but that doesn't look like this. So we are going to have to cut off a little bit. So what you do is you look at the halfway point and then go halfway again. So halfway and then halfway again, and just use scissors to chop that off. It's really easy to cut. Then you can put them together just like this. That looks a little more like a bean. And voila, that looks great. Okay, so I need to use a little more hot glue around the outside just to make sure it's really nice and stuck together. Next, shove one of your marbles in one of your tiny balloons and we are going to put a little drop of dish soap. Yep, this is my dish soap dispenser. We just want a tiny drop, the tiniest little bit. It doesn't take a lot. We just need it to slip around in there. So we got our dish soap in. We're gonna tie up the balloon and have a long tail like that that we're just gonna snip off. So now it kind of smooshes around in there without oil. So we make three of those for our three edamame pods. And I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue down in the bottom. I'm still trying to work out what adhesive works the best. After it has cooled a little bit, we wanna shove the balloon in and hold it down. It doesn't need to be like hot right out of the glue gun. Okay, we've got all three of those done. Now we are going to glue them together to make the little pea pod. So we just want a little dot of glue and we're gonna hold it until it completely cools and then uh, do that with the other one as well. Perfect. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I still need to trim up the edges, but it looks pretty cute. I like it. Uh, I think it looks awesome. You can see a little bit of the pink that I used before swirled in there, so it's not perfect, but uh, I think they're super cute. Now let's try and squeeze it. Okay, so it squeezes out, but doesn't go back in. I think that I need to trim the tops down. Okay, I trimmed this one a little bit. Yep, it pops easier, but still not going down. I still think I need to work out how much I need to trim, but it pops out, it's super cute. Uh, let me do the other side. I flipped it around, I'm doing the other side. So cute. This one goes back a little bit. I trimmed it down a little further and it goes out and back in. So that's pretty cute. Squish. Yeah, I need to trim the middle a little more, but yeah, they work. So just like right across the edge there, I still need to trim it down so that they can more easily squoosh back in without me having to poke it in. Okay, I mean, that worked all right, right? I, here's my thoughts, one moment. Here's my thoughts on this. First things first, it's adorable. Now it turned out looking exactly the way I thought and hoped it would. That is so cute. You definitely know what this is supposed to be. But second, I think that if I worked on this more, like if I made more of these, I think I could get better and better as I went on. I made one of these as a tester and it was ugly. <laughs> Guys, like it was not cute. This one's really cute, so I got better in the way it looks, but it squished out the little beans a little bit better. Oh, there it goes. 
Oh, you guys look, it's so cute. It squished out the beans a little better the first one I made because the hot glue was a lot thinner. So I think if I could get the proportions of thin hot glue to how cute and perfect it is, I think I could get better and better at this. I've only made two and um, this one looks better. I just did the, the hot glue, I think a little too thick. It still works. Haha, <laughs> so cute. I also think that um, if I used maybe a silicone adhesive instead of the hot glue inside, it might pull the balloon back a little better. The first one, the ugly one that I made, it the hot glue held the balloon in there and it pulled it back every single time. I think this green hot glue, uh, it's just not great because the middle balloon, this one, this middle balloon, oh, it just came out. So that one didn't work so well. I think I could get better at this. It's really cute. Oh, I love it so, so much. I think that that is a great craft, a great fidget, and I think that uh, it just is gonna take me some practice. Next craft! Oh my gosh, you guys. So, have you seen the videos of Dr. Mm, Popper? You know, Dr. Mm, Popper, right? Uh, there are people who love those popping videos, right? There are also people out there who have a habit of picking at their skin. You know, it's just like a, it's almost like a sensory habit. They have a compulsion to, to pick their skin and squeeze their skin. And uh, so there are fidget toys out there that look like Dr. Popper. You can literally, but I'll put a, I'll put an image here. There it is. You can buy these toys or it looks like you're squeezing acne you know, uh, and I am going to make one of those today. Uh, we're not gonna make it exclusively out of hot glue like we did this one, but we're gonna use some hot glue in the craft. So uh, let's go make a, a poppin' fidget toy. It's gonna be great. You need a kitchen sponge, shaving cream, and cornstarch for this last craft, plus this jelly blow ball. This is basically just a cheap wobble bubble ball, you know, like those silicone balloons that come with a balloon. Uh, like this and uh, with this thing to blow it up. We're not gonna be using that. The first thing you're gonna do is pull out the little blow up spout just like this and we are going to cut that off with the scissors so that you have a nice hole. Then you're gonna take your a sponge out of the mesh if it has it like mine does and we're gonna cut this right in half like that. We're gonna glue the two sponge halves together, just a little quick zhuzh of hot glue and then I'm gonna draw three circles. You can do two, three, four, just however many you want. Uh, on your sponge and then I am going to use my hot glue to just trace the circles. Just one layer of hot glue is fine around all three circles. And then you need to let that cool completely and it should look like this. Then we are going to make the stuff inside. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of the shaving cream and about the same amount, one, one and a half, two tablespoons uh, of cornstarch. You can add more if you don't have enough. Mix that up completely. It should look kind of like this, just kind of soft to the touch, but not still sticky. Uh, that's pretty good. Looks good. Next, we are going to shove the sponge inside the silicone balloon. It opens up pretty easily, so you shouldn't have a hard time. And you should be able to feel those hot glue circles through the skin. That way you can go in the middle of each little circle and use your sharpest, pointiest scissors to cut the tiniest hole. So you need something sharp and pointy, and you're gonna kind of make a little T cut you know, kind of cut in one direction and then the other. Now it's time to fill it up. I'm using this pipette. It was used for cosmetics. Um, you might have seen little pipette syringes used to feed kittens and stuff, stuff like that. But if you don't have one, it's no big deal. You can use a tiny sponge or maybe uh, just the end of a little flat butter knife or something like that. We're just gonna fill it up with the stuff, the mixture of cornstarch and shaving cream, and then we're gonna squeeze. Oh, it works so well. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. It's perfect. I'm gonna try the back one. I filled it up. Let's see. Squeeze. Here we go. Yes, I made that hole a little bit bigger. It works exactly the way I hoped. Yes, let's do the next one. Fill it up too. Oh boy, uh, that is something. That is really something. So <laughs> this is all it was, right? Like a little sponge, some hot glue on there, and then your squishy skin, that can be taken off, washed clean. This thing is reusable over and over again. It works really well. So much better than I expected it to work. <laughs> this works really well and it gives you kind of a neat, weird, maybe a little gross depending on how you feel about it, toy. But if you have an addiction to Dr. 
popper to, you know, picking on skin and, and popping things and stuff squooshing out of things. This is a great fidget toy. And this thing's so easy to clean. I mean, you just pop that off, give this a rinse under some water and squish it out, let it dry. Rinse this off under soapy water, let it dry, and it is ready to go again. I mean, this was such a cool, easy toy. We're done with the hot glue fidget toys. Which one was your favorite? Was it my cracking cookie? That's some good crack. Was it my edamame squeeze? Woo! Bloop. <laughs> or was it my a pimple popping acne fidget skin picking toy? What do you call this? I don't know. Spot picking toy? Squirty pink ooze toy. I don't know. Which one did you like the best? Which one do you think you want to try and make? If you try and make any of them, tag me. Tag me on Instagram, tag me on TikTok. I really love watching what you guys make and you never tag me. It's really rare. I wanna see what you do. But uh, I had a lot of fun with my hot glue gun today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you love to see what I made and uh, I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, squishy fans.